So if I hover over a card, we have this edit button right here, but currently it doesn't do anything. So let's make it work. I'll open the card list component, scroll down, grab the li element and create a new component called card list item dot view. We'll have script setup, template, and I'll paste the li element. Now this component will receive the card as a prop, so we can remove the v4 and the key. And let's define the props. We'll do const props equals define props card, which will be an object. Let's also import the pencil icon from hero icons. We'll do import pencil icon from hero icons slash view slash solid. And we can now go in us inside our card list and replace this li with a card list item component. Which will receive the card as a prop. Let's make sure we import the component. And here it is. Let's refresh and we're good to go. Now the edit form will be very similar to the create form. So let's start from there. I'll open the card list item create form. And let's copy the whole form element. And I'll paste it here. And let's also copy some of the functions. So we'll skip the props and the emit. And we'll grab pretty much everything else. Let's start from the top and see what we need to adjust. We have the input name ref, which should actually be named input title ref, because the name of our input is title. And let's also update the other one here. Okay, let's move on. We have the is showing form, which we'll need. We have the form, but this one will only have the title and the default value will be props card title. The show form function will remain the same, but the on submit one will actually make a put request to route cards update that will have a card parameter. And then on success will reset the form and close it. So we'll no longer need to emit the created event nor focus the title input. So here we'll just say is showing form value equals false. Now let's get rid of this error saying uh, that it cannot resolve view this view. That's because this needs to be from view. Okay, now let's bring the click event listener. So I'll grab these two. And here on edit, we'll show the form. So if I refresh, click edit, here's our form. But let's now hide the card title when the form is opened. We can do that with a template element. So I'll put the title and the button inside this template and then move the VIF on it. So now both elements should be hidden. Let's refresh, click edit, and here it is. Let's update the label. I'll do save card. And I think we can now start implementing the endpoint. Let's reduce the padding a bit. So I'll go here and say P2. Yeah, this is a bit better. Let's add the endpoint. I'll open the web routes file, go here. We'll have route put card slash card. And then the name of the method will be update. Let's go inside the controller to add the method. We'll have public function update. We'll receive the card through route model binding. And then here we'll validate the request. 
the title is required. Let's update the card. And then redirect back. Let's try it out. I'll refresh, edit, my edited card, enter, and here it is. However, after I click edit, we have the initial value. I think that's because we are resetting the form. So we no longer need this. Because we were resetting the form, the form title value was being set to what we previously had in our props card title property. Let me try that again. Second edit, please work, enter. Click edit again, and here it is. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, subscribe, click the bell button, all that good stuff. Bye.